Hey everybody, good Friday afternoon. I wanna share with you one of my favorite Psalms. Psalm 34, listen to what the Psalmist writes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Now, if you've never tasted the goodness of God, then you don't, you don't know what it's like. You need to taste it for yourselves. It's kind of like this. Remember, there used to be buffets that people would go to before this pandemic. Um, if you can't tell, I was a fan of buffets. And um, I would go up to a buffet and I'd try all the different food out. And I would come back to the table where all my guests were. And I would tell them, man, you got you to try the bread pudding or the chicken is out of sight. You would share the goodness of what you've tasted. That's kind of how it is with God. You know, some people are like, well, you know, you never discuss religion or politics. And, you know, it's just between you. It's very personal. And it is personal. But you share about the restaurants that you love. When you taste something good, you tell everyone about it, man. That pulled pork was amazing. And so why wouldn't you share with your loved ones, with your friends, with your family members about the goodness of God and what he gives you and how good he is to you in your life, how blessed you are. And taking refuge in him during the storms, it's as simple as this, storms are gonna come. In life, you will have storms, it's a guarantee. Um, you know, Notice it doesn't say that he's gonna protect you from having storms. God says that in the midst of the storms that come in life, he will be your refuge. He will be your safe place in the midst of the tough storms of life that will come your way. God is so good because he's going to give you protection. He's going to give you a safe place and a comfortable place um, in the midst of those storms because he is so, so good. Go to the buffet of the Lord. Go to the buffet of Jesus this weekend. Have a great, great uh, rest of your week and uh, we'll see you next week.